please, sir. From what I've heard, it's looking like a case of grievous bodily harm. Okay, will do. Bye. Hi, Susan. My name is Mr. Stevens, and I'm a police officer for South West Police Department. Could you tell me your side of the event that took place yesterday? It all started when I was I was outside talking with one of my friends. We were just chatting and then Charlotte walked past. She walked past us and mumbled something abusive. What did she say? She called me a bitch and she was laughing at me. How did you react? Well, I felt offended and my friend was comforting me so I wouldn't begin to cry. The next day I walked up to her and asked if we could meet up later and sort our differences and she agreed. After college, um, I waited at our meeting spot and Charlotte never showed up. So I went to go and see her the day after. She started shouting at me saying I was such a bitch and that she couldn't stand the sight of me and that she would rather see me dead. After that, Don't Mr. Smith walked like out that. of his classroom and she turned to the side as though she hadn't done anything wrong. And Mr. Smith walked past, and after he turned the corner, she grabbed me and smacked my head against the wall. I will be in touch. And in the meantime, get well soon. Mr. Smith, please. Um, right, Mr. Smith, you'll find on the second floor. You have received a badge. All right, you'll find him in room 216. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Okay. Bye bye. Mr. Smith. Oh, hi, officer. What can I do for you? Could you tell me anything about why she'd be fighting the way they were that day? Well, uh, let me see. Um, what I can tell you is that they've never exactly been the best of friends. Um, but as for that, Susan, well, she can't exactly be trusted. She's, she's trouble, that one. How do you mean? Well, once she came into my storage room while I was in there and started trying it on with me. Being a professional man, I, I told her that I couldn't be part of her fantasies and that she was lucky that I didn't report her for her actions. As for the actual incident, uh, apart from finding Susan with blood on her head and Charlotte covered in blood, that's all I really know, to be honest. Okay, Mr. Smith. I will be in touch. to ask your side of the event that happened yesterday. It wasn't my fault. You have to believe me. You're going to have to calm yourself down. Well, what happened yesterday has been waiting to happen for weeks. She's bullied me repeatedly since I've known her, but recently she's, she's pushed me, she's spat at me, she's kicked me, you name it, she's done it. And yesterday I, I couldn't take it anymore. I, I snapped, but it was self-defence. It all got bad a few days ago when I was walking past her outside the college. I didn't notice Susan up ahead. As I passed her, I continued to talk to my friend on the phone. As I laughed at my friend's conversation, Susan jumped up and shoved me. I dropped my phone. Susan ran over and kicked my phone into the river. And that was the first time she's been like this, apart from some name calling. I was outside class and she started spitting on me and whispering, I know about you and Mr. Smith. I don't know what she meant. <sighs> Nothing has ever happened between me and Mr. Smith. He is like a hero to me. Nothing like that would ever happen. So you think highly of Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith has always been my favourite teacher. I feel safe in his classroom and Susan doesn't have, 
have him on her course, so I don't have to worry about her while I'm in his classes. So you never had any type of trouble from Mr. Snape? Charlotte! You got a few moments. Yeah, it's not a bad mark. Of course, it could have been so much better if you just... No. Mr. Smith hasn't caused me any trouble. Anyway, after Susan's repeated bullying yesterday, she approached me after the lesson. She said she was going to hurt me. That's exactly what you're up to. Don't pay any attention to me. You're a fucking bitch! After he turned the corner, Susan came running at me. Pulled me onto the floor. Repeatedly hit me. So I snapped. I lashed out and pushed her away. But when I got up, her head was so full of blood, I was in shock. Mr. Smith came round the corner. He grabbed Susan and phoned an ambulance. And that's it? Yeah. That's it, really. Officer Stevens? Yes, sir. Charlotte, can you come with me, please? Oi, what's wrong? I'm afraid you're under arrest for the manslaughter of Susan James. You do not have to say anything. However, it is a harm in defence if you do not mention the question.